Right, hello everybody. So, um, in this episode, I've um, sort of telling what I think is uh, like one of the most frequently asked questions out in the field. Um, I think f for me, like something to, like the, one of the hardest things to try to explain to people is um, the creativity side of photography. And I, I'm not talking about the technical like shutter speeds and apertures and those things. I'm talking about more the, like the composition and how you sort of tell a story in your frame. I think uh, like a lot of the technical side of things, aperture, shutter speed, ISOs, you know, people can often read about that and, and sort of almost study it in a way to get an idea of it. But the, the, the real magic, I think, in an image happens in how you place your subject in the frame and, and, and the storytelling that you, you create with, within that frame. And we often say, if you look at an image, you're not going to say, listen, was that taken at f7.1 or f8 or f9? what the shutter speed was. It's more about sort of how that subject is placed in the frame and also like we always chat about visual energy in the frame. And I think that that's something that's really important to understand you know, visually where is your energy going in the frame. You know, when, when do I shoot in portrait orientation? When do I shoot in landscape orientation? And I think by, by doing that and not going with the mindset of I can fix it in post-processing, will help you think about a little bit more about your, about your photography. And a, like a, a few examples would be, you know, if you have a, a leopard coming down the tree, right? like your visual energy is moving from the top down to the bottom. So it's more of a vertical sort of energy, energy flow. And that's where shooting a portrait just enhances that. If you have to then shoot in landscape, you love to shoot really, really wide. And often then also your subject gets lost in it but now also you're trying to push your viewers eyes to go left to right or right to left instead of sort of going up and down okay so that that's one example and if you maybe get an animal walking across your frame that is then you know when you you want your viewers eyes to move um, in a horizontal um, motion almost so then by if you had to then shoot in portrait you're now taking energy that's moving across the frame and trying to get your viewers eyes to go vertical, which doesn't really work. So I think that that's, that's for me one of, one of the biggest things and probably the thing that maybe people struggle with the most, but it's also sometimes one of the hardest things to try and to try and teach as well. I think it comes over time and sort of looking at images. I think especially nowadays with, with social media available, available to us and all the images, wildlife images that you see on there, I think creatively it just helps us to, uh, to think about things a little bit differently as well. So that's it, uh, that's it for me. Um, I hope that that helps. If there's anything that um, I can help you guys with revolving, revolving this, um, please give me a shout. I'm uh, happy, to, happy to assist and help you with um, getting more creative with your images.